A city worker who resigned after News 13 caught him on camera breaking the law while doing a side job now has a new job. He's now working for the state where he was hired to make sure everyone else is following the law. News 13's Lise Mitri has more on that from the Newsplex. Dick's special assignment reporter Kim Holland first uncovered Trey Flint's business of counterfeit goods about a year and a half ago. Less than a year later, the state hired him. Nice what jersey were you looking for? Uh, what Dallas Cowboys ones do you have? An undercover camera caught then city worker Trey Flint selling counterfeit sports jerseys out of the trunk of his car in November 2012, possibly while on the clock. You don't think it's unethical to selling people $50 jerseys that are not good quality and have NFL logos all over them? Did someone complain about a quality? Questions about ethics I mean, for the guy said. who, at the time, looked into citizen complaints against APD for unethical behavior. A month later, Flint resigned from his position as investigator for Albuquerque's Independent Review Office. I'm going to order a Friday order about once a week. Um, I can order whatever you want. Then this popped up, a New Mexico Workers' Compensation Administration bulletin with Flint featured as a new employee. It says the state hired Flint last summer as an employer compliance officer, meaning once again, he's in charge of making sure others are following the law, checking businesses to make sure they're not illegally uninsured. The Workers' Compensation Administration says it got Flint's application after the state personnel office screened it. After an interview process, Mr. Flint was offered the position because he was the best candidate for the position. They did not comment on whether they knew or cared about Flint's past. Flint says this. I get him to drive me from overseas. Okay. I'm just cutting out the middle guy. Stopped the day he was caught on camera. He told News 13 today nothing was done illegally on purpose. The feds were looking into Flint's sketchy side job selling counterfeit jerseys, but Flint is not currently facing charges. Dick, back to you. Okay, Lise, Flint had also created a questionable website called the Albuquerque Fantasy Football League. It included pics of scantily clad women and jokes about domestic violence and child abuse. That site was taken down after KRQE exposed it.